Joshua chapter 2. And Joshua, the son of Nun, sent two men secretly from Shittim as spies, saying, Go, view the land, especially Jericho. And they went and came into the house of a prostitute, whose name was Rahab, and lodged there. And it was told to the king of Jericho, Behold, men of Israel have come here tonight to search out the land. Then the king of Jericho sent to Rahab, saying, Bring out the men who have come to you, who entered your house, for they have come to search out all the land. But the woman had taken the two men and hidden them, and she said, True, the men came to me, but I did not know where they were from, and when the gate was about to be closed at the dark, the men went out. I do not know where the men went. Pursue them quickly, for you will overtake them. But she had brought them up to the roof and hid them with the stalks of flax that she had laid in order on the roof. So the men pursued after them on the way to the Jordan as far as the fords, and the gates. The gate was shut as soon as the pursuers had gone out. Before the men lay down, she came up to them on the roof and said to the men, I know that the Lord has given you the land and that the fear of you has fallen upon us and that all the inhabitants of the land melt away before you. For we have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea before you when you came out of Egypt and what you did to the two kings of the Amorites who were beyond the Jordan um, to Sihon and Og who you devoted to destruction. And as soon as we heard it, our hearts melted, and there was no spirit left in any man because of you. For the Lord your God, he is God in the heavens above and on the earth beneath. Now then, please swear to me by the Lord that as I have dealt kindly with you, you also will deal kindly with my father's house. And give me a, so a sure sign that you will save alive me, my father and mother, my brothers and sisters and all who belong to them and deliver our lives from death. And the men said to her, our life for yours, even to death. If you do not tell this business of ours, then when the Lord gives us the land, we will deal kindly and faithfully with you. Then she let them down by a rope through the window, a window for her house was built into the city wall so that she lived in the wall and she said to them go into the hills or the pursuers will encounter you and hide there three days until the pursuers have returned then afterwards you may go your way the men said to her we will be guiltless with respect to this oath of yours that you have made us swear behold when we come into the land you shall tie your scar the scarlet cord in the window through which you let us down. And you shall gather into your house your father and your mother, your brothers and all your father's household. Then if anyone goes out of the doors of your house into the street, his blood shall be on his own head and he shall be guiltless. But if a man is laid on anyone, a hand is laid on anyone, excuse me, who is with you in the house, his blood shall be on our head. But if you tell this business of ours, then we shall be guiltless with respect to your oath that you have made us swear. And she said, According to your word, so be it. Then she sent them away, and they departed, and she tied the scarlet cord in the window. They departed and went into the hills, and remained there three days until the pursuers returned, and the pursuers searched all along the way and found nothing. Then the two men returned, they came down from the hills, and passed over and came to Joshua the son of Nun, and they told him all that had happened to them. And they said to Joshua, Truly the Lord has given all the land into our hands, and also all the inhabitants of the land melt away because of us.